We are in week 51 on Econichet. Let's talk business with Mr. D- Daniel Steinman. I do also want to say that it will also be our last episode for the festive season, meaning that we will only return next year. Uh, but we will continue doing what we do on the Power Station Energy 100. Mr. Daniel Steinman, before we went on a break, you did explain to us um, what the Bank of Namibia did in regards to Growth projection. Growth projection that, that is for 2023. Uh, but it looks, on my side, it does look good, I should say. Or yes. Any, every time that that a central bank or a planning uh, commission upgrade an outlook, mm. it's a good sign. It's a good sign, yeah. Because they, they, they don't do it willy-nilly. Mm. They, they, they've got very strong models that they mm. use and... Um, very powerful computers mm. and, uh, <laughs> as I said earlier doing a million runs mm. of a specific model mm. is nothing for that computer it, yeah. it does it in a I, I wouldn't say in a few seconds but in a few minutes mm-hmm. you know, then you've, you've got an idea where you stand but if we look at 2022 sort of as the benchmark here, yeah. and because remember we're looking we're trying to say something sensible about where are we heading in 2023 Mm. and then obviously 24 and 25 after that Mm. one of the reasons why the outlooks vary or are adjusted fairly significantly Mm. from time to time is because we sit with a very short history since COVID-19 yes basically only a two-year history Mm. 21 and 22 and 21 was a was a year in which was an abnormal year you know, everybody was trying to just get back and get by and mm. survive from the impact of 2020 yeah. so 2022 is the is in the first relatively normal dependable year in three years mm. so when you go to modeling the longer your history the more robust is your model mm. or the outcome of your yeah. model you know and if you basically work with only two years history i mean it can go any direction mm. but i my personal bias is to accept the the um, adjustments the projections made by bank of namibia mm. they are very technically very uh, mm. up to date with this sort of stuff you know they do it all the time they are very versed well versed in in modeling and if they say there's a good reason to look at the 3.9 percent growth for 2022 then one would expect at least the same for 2023 Mm. but here's the kicker current projection for 2023 is only 2.7 percent now Immediately, I can see you. You frown. You, 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 in the back of your mind, you're trying to figure out how is this? If the economy is going to be a little bit better next year than this year, but the growth is only projected at 2.7 percent, whereas now for this year it's 3.9. What comes into effect is what we call a base effect, and that means that. The 3.9% for this year comes from a very small growth last year. You see, that 2.2% for 21 set a certain level, a benchmark. Now, the benchmark is much higher for 2022 at 3.9% because the first one was so low. We call that a low base effect. And it means that the point of departure it's actually called the point datum from which you measure a mathematical series. The initial value, the inset value, determines to a very large extent the statistical values in your series as you progress year after year okay. after year. And I can see this is now too technical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also trying to figure out now, okay, putting one and one together. Okay, what the low base effect does Mm. is the 2.2% growth in 
2021 came from the minus 8.1% growth, negative growth, okay. eh? getting smaller yeah. in 2020. 20, yes. So it means that that 2.2% was actually tiny, 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 because it's, let's say there's, the normal growth was 100. Okay. Now we take 8 away. Mm. So what remains is 92. Yes. Now we put 2.2 on top of that. So now we are at 94.2. Mm. Do you see? Yes. 2021 was a positive growth year, but from that very low base. Mm. So we, we are only now at 94.2, and now we add 3.9, so let's say 4. Now we are at 96. So we are still not there where we, we were be. before COVID-19. Okay, before COVID, yeah. You see? So, but what happens now is as the, as the base starts normalizing, mm. the effect from the low base gets smaller and smaller and smaller and what it means in practical terms is that the 2.7 percent growth projected for next year is a very respectable growth under current circumstances okay but the economy will be bigger than the 3.9 percent growth this year so do you do you are, no, are you get getting it. your mind I, I, around this it. statistical <laughs> anomaly I am. I am. of the effect of a low base yes. You Thank know. you for that clarity. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> it, 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 it's 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 very important if you want to understand Stand, how, yes. how do they get to mm. these figures that jump mm. up and down, you know, and why and why does it get smaller and smaller and smaller? The the further you look into the future is because the the base gets closer and closer and closer mm. to normal. So we are returning to the 100 benchmark, mm. which I just use as an example yeah. to to illustrate mm. to you that you um, if you have lost so much in the economy, you, it takes a couple of years to regain it. Mm. But the rate at which you regain it gets slower and slower and mm. slower the further you go into mm. the future. Okay. That, that for me is, is very clear and uh, I, I believe that our listeners have understood what you explained to us right now. Uh, but let's go for another short musical break and then uh, we will come back and we learn more. <laughs> 